Hello Scorpio, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. This will be your reading for March 1st through 15th, 2017. Thank you so much for coming back. I've already shuffled and premeditated over your cards. And of course I'm doing this a little different, <laughs> as I always do. These are your cards that fell out, that Spirit wants you to know. This is your intuitive read on your relationships not necessarily romantic it could be family friends or just the people around you this is your intuitive car on your journey this is your higher self giving you a message about this time the first to 15th of march and this is what the divine energy would like you to surrender during this time so for your relationships you have balance Okay, so you need to create some sort of balance in your relationships. I'm feeling more of seeing yourself in others. Giving people the benefit of the doubt. And I'm feeling like this is more family oriented. It's someone that you're connected to by blood or mm, situation, step family type of thing. Okay. And your journey. So this is a point in your journey, what's happening now for you to spend time with yourself basically to balance the idea of what's going on to gain some introspect some sort of guidance some knowledge of what's happening to step back and not speak and be perceptive of what's going on around you or the situation itself okay your higher self is telling you forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So let go whatever is going on here. Okay. Don't keep any hard feelings or any grudges. Interesting. <laughs> Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Look at that. Isn't it so interesting how all the cards go together? Wow. And this right here tells me that you really love this person. There's a deep love here, an unconditional love. But you are releasing the responsibility of this situation. You feel a little worn out and that things are unfair. Like the burden is on you and you're letting it go. Or you should let it go. Okay, so let's do your reading. You have the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cup. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's definitely about family not doing right, and the Devil in reverse, the Fool, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Temperance in reverse, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Hermit in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So the overall energy of your reading being the Ace of Wands in reverse, that means that there's some sort of delay to growth. There's some sort of delay to the growth of this relationship or this situation. Some sort of blockage. 
but it's divinely orchestrated. I don't think that it's a specific person or situation that can be resolved. In your past, you have the devil in reverse. And that's about letting go of some bondage. I feel like you've tried to make this situation work. And you're kind of letting it go. I heard letting God. So you're letting it go. And <laughs> you're letting it go. Because you, you don't see the future. You don't see the point I'm getting. Instead of arguing or being in a bad circumstance, you're kind of just letting karma take control and you've put up a wall around this situation. Okay, so in your current energy, you have the two of wands and that meaning that it's like you're looking or open to receive some sort of idea that could help but but you're not like scrambling you're just open to the idea is what I'm feeling to create some sort of balance you would like to do that but I don't see you scrambling your blockage is the ten of pentacles in reverse and that is definitely something about family It's like your home life is not, someone in your family isn't doing right, home life isn't right. Um, this person is not being supportive. They're not being cooperative, okay? In your future, you have the fool card. So this is about you taking a risk being spontaneous, a new beginning, a new beginning on this situation. You haven't really made a choice of the on the matter. You don't really know which way to go. You're just kind of going with the flow, I'm feeling. But the sun card is there, meaning that you have some hope, some enlightenment. There's possibly some communication. You feel confident about the future. That's really good. That's a good thing. Your hopes are that you can regain this relationship with them on a spiritual level, meaning that you all can go back to the way things were, move forward, okay? That everything will be balanced and just more on a spiritual level, more traditional meaning that you all will share the same values and morals and hopes and dreams and move forward together in a consistent sort of family way okay your hopes I'm sorry your strengths your strengths are that you can see this situation for what it is. You're not blinded by grandier thoughts or grandier feelings or thinking that everything is peaches and roses and rainbows. Okay, <laughs> you you definitely know what's happening. You're aware of the situation and that is your strength. Okay. And that you really want you really want this family life back together to feel whole. You really want that. That is important to you. Your fear, your fear is that there will not be any balance. That there won't be any balance. That there will be no long-term vision. Like um, that it'll be okay at first and then it'll go back to the way it was. You don't want that to happen. Your weakness, your weakness, mm. this could be you, it could be them.
So your weakness basically is that they come running in with the enthusiasm to be a part of this situation and there's an opportunity for growth and you get involved in this growth, but then you end up in despair or sadness or failure. Okay. And you don't want that to happen. So your weakness is basically the fear that this opportunity that's being given to you is not what it seems to be. In your environment, you have the Three of Cups. And I feel like this person... Um, let me see here. I don't know if this person is a fire sign. Um, that is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? But I feel like they are willing to be a part, have a little celebration, get together. Um, but I feel like you're not going to talk about it. You're just going to get together. I'm, I'm hearing like family get together, some sort of family get together. And this will be a time for them to make the move to make things better. Okay to embrace the warmth and love that is here for them to have. This will be the time for them to do it. They have the choice. I really feel like it. They have the choice, but they need to get past their own their own bondage and their own burdens in order to do that, okay? The outcome is the hermit in reverse. And the hermit in reverse is about isolation. So I really feel like I feel like this person comes back and you feel really good. Um, you feel abundant. And then there's some sort of childish communication that comes in. And the growth stops. There's some delay or there's no direction. And then you're left to focus on It's like you're left to focus on the past. And then I feel you get very angry <laughs> and you start going off, you know, um, because you let that person in. So now at this point, you're trying to gain control and have the power because they let you down. And I get now why this balance comes in and this forgiveness and surrendering to the drama. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there because it is a general reading. So I don't want to go too much into that. Okay, so I'm going to pull an overall oracle card. Well, unfinished sympathy, symphony, sympathy, symphony. <laughs> and that is 10. Unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. 
This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it is important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur. The answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still find, feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied to you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have the conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be and declare your feelings. Even if only to yourself, be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Scorpio, that is your reading. If this resonated with you at all, um, or you just like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a particular insight on your situation, um, because this was fairly general, I'll be more than happy to do that for you as well. Just follow the information in the box below, and I will be more than happy to do that for you. Good luck on your journey, Scorpio. I love you. Love and light. Bye-bye.